welcome back to another how not to suck at teaching today I want to go over the syllabus so what is important about the syllabus all right so starting up a new term new semester I'm going through things that we need to know about the syllabus number one your syllabus is gold what do you what do you mean by that well syllabus is set up to be your affirmation what do you what are your expectations for your class your classroom rules your disciplinary procedures but also one of the biggest things that I like to put on mind is what we're uh, doing so we're using film to facilitate at portions of the class where I'll show like a 30 second snippet of something off of YouTube and I need that to have students understand that we're, of what we're doing and that's going to the administrators and it's going to my parents it's going to my students so everybody has is well aware that's what we're gonna be doing in class and that is in dire importance for you so that you can have it up front and out out there early on so that I've sent that to my ministers that this is on my syllabus and most of my all, all, my my teachers that my administrators already know that I do that because I've had this conversation with them on several occasions of I need to do this in my class because it furthers the facilitation of the learning for it for, for the it facilitates the learning process for the students well someone come back at me with the how can watching a video be influential to the to the students and my answer is always uh, it gives a visual representation to what is auditorily being said by me, the instructor. So having a visual interpretation is another uh, way that I differentiate to my students so that I can create various learning styles in, in one learning environment, which creates a positive learning environment because I'm positively reinforcing my students' need to have a visual for them to get and further engage themselves in the learning process. Big educational mumbo jumbo, legal stuff. So the other thing that I love to have in my syllabus is, and I started really doing this just recently, is having a project list. So I have a outline list of these are the projects we are gonna cover during this term. So this is the bare bones minimum. You should all have this done if you expect to come close to passing my class. Uh, and it's nice to have that out to the students on day one to where they say, oh, I have to do this and this and this and this. And if I do these on these days, I gotta do this on this day. And it, it's just a good outline for them to properly gauge their time so they don't feel that uh, they didn't have enough time or they didn't have further notice, they didn't have enough notice ahead of time to prep their ideas and get everything kind of set up. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, get everything set up in, the, in, uh, in their sketchbooks and their design process so they have a well thought out composition for their future projects. But it's also a catch-22 to some of my students when they realize, oh, crap, we have a lot of work to do in this class. And it's at least up front in that, so that they understand that that's a viable possibility for my class is that uh, for me, for every Wednesday we do our history. And on our history day, it's a 300-point challenge. If they, don't get three, if they don't get all parts of that done, it's not going to be a passing grade for that section. And that section is weighed at 45% of their overall grade. And that's not me who's coming up with those numbers. That's the county. The county came up with those, those figures. So that just goes into the, uh, for us, it's called a guided practice uh, or group learning structure, which is what that falls under. And it, but I don't do just one of them. I do seven of them, uh, just this, uh, this go around. So there's seven three point sections I have to grade. So that's 21 grades on just one thing that I teach. And so it gives the students a lot of opportunity to make those grades, but at the same time, if they miss a couple days, that's a huge hit into their grade. Or they, because I had some students last term who they forgot to do part three, so they failed that section. And, I, and no matter how many times I retold them, like, you gotta do this one section. Here, take the time right now, go do the section. Then they didn't do the section, so it still came back to bite them. Um, but they, it's up front, day one, they know what's there, it's allocated on the spreadsheet, so they know what to do and get, hopefully get a good, decent grade. All right. So, to further this discussion on the web, down in the comment section today, tell me what do you guys add to your syllabuses or what do you think should be on the syllabus if you're a student that a teacher doesn't put on there that you wish you knew ahead of time. Uh, always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you know what to do. Other than that, I will see you guys next class. Later.